What's up? So, I was going to make this video already. I actually made it. And then I found this helmet. I was actually about to upload the, the original blog to YouTube tonight. But then I found, like I said, I found this helmet. And I was like, this is going on. So, now I have this helmet and everything's awesome. It's not easy breathing in that. I, I mean, what is this crap? Look at that. It's like this big old thing blocking my mouth. Anyways. Everything has happened this summer, man. Everything has happened this summer. My desk is a mess currently. Uh, my camera is actually sitting on top of my jacket. So much has happened. I mean, check this poster. I got this autograph from Dave Mustaine. Wait a second. Wrong poster. Uh, that is, that is a, from something else. Don't worry about that. This is the awesome Megadeth poster. Actually, Dave Mustaine did not sign it. Unfortunately, his hand was hurt that day. Yeah, I went to Rockstar Fest. Uh, got Dave Ellison. He's that guy right there. And Chris Broderick. That guy right there. And this is Dave Mustaine in the middle. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta point out the other guy too. Sean Drover. So me and Matt, we went to the Mayhem Fest. Where did I get that porn poster? Uh, we went to Mayhem Fest, right? Here in Dallas. And everything was going well for a little while. It was very, very hot out. But then um, we heard that Megadeth might not be playing because the night before, Dave hurt his hand in Oklahoma City and was actually not supposed to play um, in Dallas that night. And everything turned out okay, except for they, don't, they, were, they ended up only playing a few songs. They were late on stage, but that's fine. Because the thing was, it was like I was listening to Trivium, and I hate Trivium. Like, they, they went on right before uh, Megadeth, so I had to sit there and listen to Trivium. And I was like, I'm ready for some mega death. Kind of get rid of this uh, nasty trivium feel. And it took a while to get on stage. But when they got on, um, he explained what was going on with his hand or something like that. And they started playing some Hangar 18. Then they played uh, their, their new song. The, the song they've been going around and playing for throughout the tour. Um... Public Enemy Number One. It's gonna be on their new album, Thirteen, which I did actually pre-order. Excited about that. And Matt also pre-ordered it. But after they played Public Enemy, they played Head Crusher from Endgame. Then they played Symphony of Destruction, uh, from Countdown to Extinction. Very good album, by the way. And then they played the most popular Megadeth song in the world, Peace Sells. Who's buying? Actually, the song's called Peace Sells, Not Peace Sells, Who Was Buying. That's the album title. Anyways, aside from that, um, the band's just, man, we're just taking on beatings left and right. We're trying, we're trying. So what we're planning on doing, now that Tony's out of the band, okay, this is cool. This is cool. Geo, the new bass player, if y'all don't know him yet, you probably will soon, has his, he's got like giant amps. Okay, not only is he going to be using his own bass amp from now on, because Ryan had a very, very big amp. It was 74 watts, and I kept wanting to use that just for the vocals. I know I'm supposed to be using speakers, but heck, an amp works. I wanted to use that, that amp, and Tony kept using it for his bass every time we had practice. I was like, ah, I want to use it. And so, now that he's gone, Ryan... Uh, is going to let me use that for vocals and Geo has his own amp possibly you know he might have speakers I don't really know Geo just now joined the band we haven't even had a practice with him yet but now that we have the supplies we need instead of trying to record and everything we're going to pack everybody's gear up into one of our cars pack in some extension cords pack up everything we need and we're going to get a permit to do this because we need a permit for every city we're going to be going to. And we're going to drive 
We're going to get out. We're going to play four songs. For Whom the Bell Tolls, Paranoid, uh, King Nothing. For Whom the Bell Tolls and King Nothing are by Metallica. And Paranoid is by Black Sabbath. And then we're going to play our song, Road Rage. Now, four songs is just what we're starting out with, okay? Now, each time we have a day where we do that, where well, we're going to be going around, we're going to be playing and uh, we're going to be working on new stuff before we head out. So, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is, Get out, play four songs that are some random place. We're not even going to call anybody or anything. We're just going to pull up to the side of a street, get out of the car, play, get back in, continue on. If the police come over to us, unfortunately, we'll have to stop. Because while we are an awesome band, got to respect the authorities. That's all I'm saying. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you think I'm a nutto. For respecting authorities, I don't care. I do what's right. That's all there's to it. Okay, so yeah, go around, jump out, play some songs, jump back in, go to another spot. We do this as much as we can for the day. If I have work or if Matt has work, we have to go to work, of course. That's how it's going to be going on. Okay, each morning before we head out for our first uh, little jam. We are going to be working on uh, our own material or working on a new cover. Uh, two covers that we are going to be working on uh, will have to be uh, Am I Evil, which it's only going to be half of Am I Evil. Um, there's a way to make it sound good. So we're just going to play the first half of Am I Evil. Look at that curve going over my head like that. <laughs> and then um, as well as Symphony of Destruction. Now the reason we have to learn Symphony of Destruction is due to the fact that we need a Megadeth song. And the reason we need a Megadeth song is because I got the greatest thing in the world recently, other than the fact that we also went to Rockstar Mayhem and saw Megadeth. You know, you have to play a Megadeth song. But there's something I got. Behold, my first Flying V. It's a Dean Dave Mustaine VMNT. Um, black, of course. I'm sure not all y'all would notice that um yeah it's a signature model so got the thing for 150 the story of that was i mean i took my bass guitar which is a p bass i'm not sure if any of y'all have seen it right here tried to sell that to guitar center they said no the trust rod can't be moved so we can't take it tried to sell my Epiphone Explorer and they said no because there's no serial number, there's no frets hardly. I mean there are frets but it's like they're flat. Like somebody wore away the strip or whatever that the, that separates the frets. But that's what's going on and so um yeah I'm excited about the whole band thing. Upset due to the fact that school starts up very soon it's like tomorrow morning uh guys don't talk to me at school i tell you what if you try bugging me during school hours you're just you're asking for trouble because i don't want to talk to people during school now if you talk to me after school that's cool but that's not going to happen because I get out at 1 o'clock unlike the rest of the high school students at prosper this is because i wanted off period one and and eight, and they were like, "Oh, you can't have first and eighth period off because you have AP art. You can have eighth period off, you just can't have first off. AP art was only in first period." And then they were like, "Oh, we can give you seventh period off." And I was like, seven and eight. That means I'm gonna be getting off roughly maybe one thirty, one forty-five. So yeah, that's awesome. And I'll be working at four o'clock each day, maybe five o'clock. I don't know which one is gonna be. I hope five o'clock. Okay, that's what's going down. Also, I don't know if Metallica ever watches these, but look what I made for Metallica. I'm going to get them to sign this one day. We get James, Lars, Kirk, and Robert. All of them have to sign it one day. One day. I'll get them to sign it. You guys don't have faith in that, but I do. Okay, but that's what's going down, guys. So if y'all, if anyone has amps, if anyone has staging equipment if anyone has a vehicle if y'all want to help the band with our little tour 
guys help us out hook us up okay if you have any if you want to help at all come on down we'll give you a free wine or live fearlessly t-shirt it's going to be a road rage design uh if you want to see the design go to our facebook page it's right there it's going to have the big road, road rage design with the little wheel on fire and everything that's all going to be on the front it says road rage in big letters on the back we only have two shirts made one for me one for matt we'll be making some more very shortly anyways now this vlog has exceeded the limit so i love you all keep rocking on megadeth and you too metallica and black sabbath I hope they get back together like they've been talking about. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.